If you say that the central no, no, government I, I, is waiting for the whole term to be over, the whole session to be over, then I would like to remind you no, the no, story no. of the tiger clause and Shivaji. A person who is working for the poor people like is never liked by the bourgeois class. The a person who has come up from the no, poor no, I, class, you, you, struggling masses, is okay, never liked by the bourgeois class. Let's get and the other panelists. Antosh Singhbal. Antosh Singhbal. But as long yeah. as the people of West Bengal are concerned, nobody will do Ma'am, the question is, is the person in Kolkata not the Aam Admi? Ravi Shankar Prasad, welcome to the show. The question put to, the question was put to a representative of the Trinamool Congress. Is the person in Kolkata who is going to have to pay almost 15% more for electricity, as per the order of the West Bengal State Electricity Regulatory Commission, not an Aam Admi? So you have one policy, you discover the Aam Admi when it comes to putting pressure. This is, you know, on the, this is when it comes to putting pressure on the central government, you forget the Aam Admi in Kolkata. Only about 12 Mr. Prasad, what do you think? And that is also because Mr. Prasad, no, 15%. 15 percent, 15 percent, our commitment railway fares have been also hiked by 15 percent on an average. And this amount of fare hike, this amount of price hike in petroleum products. One sec, let's get the other panelists in. Ravi Shankar Prasad, what do you think? And so that is our objection. Ravi Shankar Prasad, what do you think? Well, Arno, as far as this hike part is concerned, that is only one aspect of it. What concerns me all the more is the complete paralysis which the UPA government is suffering almost becoming a laughing stock, stumbling from one and an almost critical situation to another. The Prime Minister not in a position to uh, understand as to how to handle it. Pranav Babu making desperate calls. I understand there are compulsions in coalition government. They will be there. But the larger question is the same. Mamta Ji was also a part of NDA. She left it in 2003. Many of the, I, you know, I had the honor to be a minister in Bajpayee government working there. And many of the reform initiatives, including containment of price, etc., the whole highway program in the Electricity Act of 2003, all was passed by taking her on board. Yesterday, you may recall in the Raj Sabha, the DMK walked into the well of the house on the issue of uh, discrimination of Tamil people in Sri Lanka. Therefore, allies are not being taken on board. For the last two years, there has been no meeting of the Congress with their allies on many critical issues. Therefore, these are only Sir, symptoms what is Mr. happening. Mr. Prasad. No, no. Mr. Prasad. Mr. Prasad. Yes. You are avoiding the issue also. You are, you are also avoiding no, the issue. Or, or no, there is because no, you are no, leaving the option or, 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 option or, 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 or no, working with the Trinamool in the future. Or no, there is no my question, question to you, sir, with all respect, Mr. Prasad, my question to you is very direct. Do you believe, do you believe that economic rationale should run? Should, should be the deciding factor in running a ministry like the railways? Should it run on economic logic? The reply, or should it run on political logic? The reply is very simple. Simple question. Uh, the reply is very simple. Uh, or no, you may not like it, but in a democratic country like India, one is what is economically desirable, and the second is what is politically feasible. And what is important from the political leader having authority, not like the present Prime Minister, is to ensure <laughs> that there is a proper blend of the two. That is very important. I you, st you stretch the box. I am still asking. No, I no, take I, your point. No, no, no. I, uh, as for, uh, no, please, please. Uh, I think tomorrow we are going to meet on the budget issue. We will have long discussion on that. But you <laughs> yeah, ask we will me, meet you, on you, the budget. You absolutely. ask me a question uh, straight away. Absolutely. So let me I ask given, you a political I question, given, Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad. Yes. Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad, yes. the political question to you is, are you accepting the hike in railway fares but yeah. only finding fault with the way UPA is handling its allies? That's the question. Is, is this your objective to put the Congress no, party on no, the no, mat? No, we, we have also flagged our concern as far as hike part is concerned. We will elaborate that once the railway budget debate starts, Navika. We, our representative will do it very elaborately. But certainly one question I am willing to ask, how is it that two, three years ago, a great politician from my own state who was railway minister was being given certificate by the management institutes world over as having brought about a great revolution in the railway under UPA dispensation. Surplus budget, no high, lot of revenue generation. Therefore, the fact and the truth was being concealed. Is it a fact or not? Come on, be very honest about it.
therefore the entire issue has no. to be seen in the totality no, of it no i mean no so yeah, yeah, i i take your, your point no mr problem. prasad you we are saying no that problem. you are you have a experience of managing mamta banerji better i give you full kabaks for it i don't completely agree with you on it because i have some experience <laughs> of what has happened in the nda you know with jailalita and mamta banerji yes. so do you but you are looking at the glass as half full i am looking at it as half empty that's oh, fine right, right. hartosh singh bal so sorry to come to you late yeah. do you think tonight kakoli goes dastidar gave a clear answer to my straight question are the people of kolkata who will have to pay 15% more oil for their electricity not the aam aadmi for mamta banerji isn't that the question mamta banerji must answer she allows the electricity hike of 15% in her own state it's only 12% no i'm not ma 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 you are now going by what 12% or 15% hartosh hartosh arnab let me come in i think the basic issue you are talking about if we are so bothered about the aam aadmi let's look at this rail budget and the hike that you are focusing on if you look at the base year of 2007 and mr lalu prasad tenure that ravi shankar prasad was re referring to from then on under mamta banerji and then followed by dinesh trivedi there have been 50 to 60 extra deaths every year in rail accidents people dying in rail accidents people exposed due to safety considerations are also aam aadmi and not to look at that fact to wish that away and make this debate entirely about economic rationale is to do injustice to the aam aadmi yeah some of this hike is necessary and it is necessary because the aam aadmi must be safe when he travels on the rail absolutely who is going to answer this is not about the aam aadmi my contention is my contention is hartosh that the aam aadmi is being used the aam aadmi argument is being used whenever you feel like mamta banerji doesn't remember the aam aadmi of kolkata she remembers the aam aadmi when it comes to the railway budget isn't that the real issue here now we must throw that that's, the real, that's the real issue and the question to ms dastidar is very clear ms dastidar what is the ultimatum that the trinamool congress yes, is giving the congress party how long will you wait till the prime minister actually removes dinesh trivedi from his position as railways minister as has been made clear by your party yeah yeah i'll come to that but you see you have just been misleading the viewers that uh, you know honorable chief minister of west bengal is not bothered about the aam aadmi we don't call it aam aadmi we call the common man the common poor people uh, in bengal she is only bothered about this and the height that is not true you should see to the agenda in the state and we are not going to increase any fare we are not going to increase any kind of price we never support the petroleum product price hike we have shown our way we don't do not support foreign direct investment so it is not so only that she is not bothered about the state and even in the state she has stood by the kisan by the common farmer by the mazdoor who works in the field the khet mazdoor we call it and she has fought for 26 days about, trying to save Zimbabwe. farm land I, and you know multi crop agriculture land in can singhu point, when it was being sold off at one rupee i mean what is that what is realistic i'm sorry so he is in the common land everywhere and she will fight for the common land we ask a different question what second agenda is for the common poor people and the party does not believe in taxing for the let me ask a simple question who live with an earning of let me ask a simple question we do not want to tax these people of india where 60% of women are reproductively anemia we do not want to tax these people of india who lose 16000 children every day we do not want to get these poor people of india who do not get two square meal a day there is no electricity yeah. but, there is no infrastructure for the village we do not want to tax that is our party stand and if mr banerji is following it up she is doing it throughout the country not only she is trying to disrupt the central government that is the major issue that we want to highlight one minute one minute one minute we are getting two questions here one minute sankarsh my question is before i let sankarsh is raised his hand i'll come to him if i may yes sankarsh why does the trinamool congress continue to be an ally of this government and a part of this government simple question yeah why are you still with the government why are you still with the government what's your compulsion to be with the government that is our prerogative that is what we want to decide we the it is not is the it is not force and we want to it be is not. so how long will you being, decide in being part of this government is not your prerogative give the government time that to remove the our prerogative 
in every family, in every individual family, in all of your families, in my family. Arna, there is always you can be divested. Kind of you can be divested. Let me speak to Congress Party. Party. No, 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 watch it, watch it. Miss Dastidar. And our agenda Miss is Miss Dastidar, this is, if you are calling Arna. this a family, if you are calling this a family, then this is certainly a very unhappy family. <laughs> it might be. It might be. Let me ask a question. Meghna Desai has a question. Let me ask a question. Meghna Desai. Let me ask a question. I am joking. It's very important to be kept in mind. And the regional parties have their regional commitment. Let me ask a question. The center does not let me ask a question. Regional no, no, no. One minute. And One that minute. Lord, is why there are certain tips here and there. Don't try Ms. to Ms. break our proportion. And don't try to disturb our Let me ask you a question. Make that this asking a question. After that, Ravi Shankar Prasad, I'm coming to you. Yes. Let me ask you. You boast that you're not going to tax uh, anybody in West Bengal. All that happens, you pile up a big debt and then you come to central government and say bail us out. Okay. So you, you may protect West Bengal, but the rest of India is paying. Because that money comes out of taxation, which all the arm army is also paying. So you are saying, in West Bengal, we want to have no price increases, so the rest of India can pay, because we just pile up the debt, and we pile up the debt, and we pile up the debt. What kind of policy is that uh, to protect the poor? No, no, yeah. no before you yeah. just button here. You know, the Trinamool Congress seems to pretend as if the poor exist only in West Bengal. They exactly. exist all over the country. Yeah. A. B. If you talk to any poor person today, yeah. he sympathizes and empathizes with the small rise. And I think if you did a nationwide opinion you think poll. empathize with the small absolutely, rise? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think if you did an opinion poll, 90% of people are back this. Absolutely. You, know, you have been talking to the city people, to the city dwellers.